Hello, welcome back. Today I would like to update a video on Chagrin. So finally, the new version of Chagrin has just been released to the public and it does support on iOS 13.4 and 13.4.1, the latest version that has just been released. So it means that we can finally jailbreak iOS 13.4 and 13.4.1 on Windows without having to um, use the Mac. Um, mostly, I know all of you own the Windows instead of the Mac, so I decided to make this video. And I would like to thank to Chagrin team for working very hard on this project. And if you click on um, get the beta now, you will uh, it will bring you to this page and you, you can see Chagrin 0.10.1. It is the latest version which um, adds support for iOS 13.4 and 13.4.1. Uh, and after Chagrin has been released, Buren also released as well. Buren has just updated to iOS 13.4 and 13.4.1 as well. So um, this new version, it does support um, those versions. So all you have to do, you just download Buren. So you need to download either 64-bit or 32-bit um, for your computer. In order to check uh, which version are you, you just property on my computer. You can take a look at system type. So for me, it is 64-bit. And then you can download Buren Live CD 64-bit here on the top. So you just click on it. And if you have 32-bit window, you can download here. And then you will need um, this software. It is called Rufus. So this software allow you to create a bootable USB. And for me, I have already downloaded this software. So I can go back to um, home screen and you can see the software here. So you just right click and run it as administrator and then you can hit on yes. After that, you should be able to see this page. So all you have to do on device, select your USB. And for me, I'm gonna use um, a gigabyte USB. So it is enough for this file. And then you can click on select. So it means that you need to select the ISO file and I place it on my desktop. And here is boot run, you just select on it. And then you can leave all of this as default and then you can click on start and before you click on start make sure your computer is connected to the internet as well. So this is where it needs to download some uh, important file and after it is uh, finished you can close and for me I have already created so I don't need to do that again. So now you can restart your computer, you can right click and then click on restart. And once your computer goes black, you need to hit on escape key in order to go to BIOS. And if you have a um, dial computer, you can um, press on F12. And for me, I have HP, so I can click on escape key to go to BIOS. So if you have different um, PC, you need to find out the key into BIOS. You can check on Google and so on. And now you can click on F9. So for me, I can um, press on F9 to go to boot device option. So I can press on F9. And then I can use my arrow down to go to USB. You can see here. And then hit on enter. You should be able to see this screen. So you have four options. So I'm going to go to um, graphics save. So hit on enter. Now at the bottom, you should be able to see login. So for username, you need to type ANON and I place it on the screen as well. And for the password, um, you can type um, as I saw on the screen as well. And after you enter username and password, you can type sudo. 
space and then you can type check ran and check ran should be able to pop up and as you can see we have version 0.10.1 on the top you can see on my phone i have the iphone se running on ios 13.4.1 and it is the latest version from apple and i can connect my iphone into the computer after your phone is connected to the computer you should be able to see this pop up and make sure you hit on trust otherwise it doesn't work and then it will detect on your computer so we have ios 13.4.1 my iphone se and then I can use my arrow key so you're gonna hit on start and then hit on um, enter so to put your phone into recovery mode in order to jailbreak you need to put your phone in DFU mode so for the iPhone with physical button, uh, which is the home button, you need to hold on uh, power button and home button at the same time for 5 seconds. And after that, you can release the power button, but you keep holding on home button. And as soon as you keep holding the home button, you should be able to see the FU mode successfully. And then you can um, release the home button. And if you have the iPhone 8, you need to hold on um, power, the side button and the volume down button at the same time for 5 seconds and then you can release the side button but you can keep holding on um, the volume down and then you should be able to jailbreak so now we can get start and you can see the FU more successfully and it is booting as you can see so just wait a little bit and now it is done so we can unplug and now we can go back to um, the home screen and you should be able to see check ran on home screen just wait a little bit and as you can see here and make sure your phone is connected to wi-fi and then you can go to check ran and we can install side idea so here so click on side idea click on install side idea and you just wait um, a little bit it is downloading side idea and it is installing so it almost finished and it will kick back to home screen and as soon as it kick back you should be able to see side idea so we can open side idea and now i can scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see how uh, my iphone se running on ios 13.4.1 Finally, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video and then I will catch you guys in the next one. One more thing I would like to thank to CheckRan team who working very hard on CheckRan. And one more thing I would like to thank to BootRan. He is the one who has support for Windows so we can jailbreak our iPhone on Windows without having to use the Mac.